just to make you familiarize decortication and decerebration there is a letter d here if you section the cerebral cortex from on along the line d you are removing the effect of the cortex from the rest of the cns and hence rest of the body but this is called decortication this is this opposed to lesion type a so d type of lesion is called decortication a type of lesion here shown here is called decerebration decerebration is removing all the stuff which is above this level which means cerebral cortex and rubrospinal tract from whatever was happening in the brain stem this is decortication decerebration okay the main differences between decortication and decerebration is the red nucleus in decortication not only is the uh, red nucleus free from all the influences of the cerebral cortex the brain stem is also free of all sorts of uh, uh, influences of the cerebral cortex the decerebration a cut here or a, or a, or whatever a lesion here will also remove the influence of the rubrospinal tract so this decortication plus rubrospinal tract cut is called decerebration so this is the decortication posture of the patient you clearly can see the difference stretched out limbs common check okay he has not shown the neck uh, extended neck should be extended as well in both okay however look at the upper limbs the upper limbs are not similar why would there be flexion of the upper limbs in decortication because of the nucleus we talked about two levels of flexors remember distal and proximal proximal raza shabash rubrospinal controls the proximal flexors yes corticospinal controls the distal flexors in decortication have the rubrospinal intact and this is a clinical way of looking at it the patient when he will be when when you induce this kind of uh, spasticity so tapping the forehead right here will induce a kind of extensor type rigidity with remember the look at the fists they are pronated and flexed okay uh, and this is what is it it is decerebration this is decerebration however if you look at this this is decortication theek okay? hai tapping the forehead he has flexed his upper arms while the the remaining extension is there theek okay? hai now you know some broad strokes between differences uh, of decortication and decerebration and you also see the value of clinical examination in locating a deep seated lesion inside the cns decortication this is the list so a common cause is capsular stroke remember i showed you uh, that thin line where the corticospinal tract goes through right here remember this line this thing here this is called the internal capsule this place is called the internal capsule i remember i told you that corticospinal tract is very vulnerable when passing through this internal capsule because of the small structures or uh, the the small and very uh, blood vessels present here and so very tight space and most is is one of the most common causes of stroke so it is dam damage to the corticospinal tract i e the fibers coming from the cerebral cortex itself they get damaged most commonly when they pass through the internal capsule whenever there is a problem with the spinal cord or the cns uh, the body goes into a shock like a shock like situation where all the reflexes and all the tones etc are just they just go silent for 24 to 48 hours depending on the intensity of the damage shock. spinal shock not be able to see this this 
or if when we do decerebration, you won't be uh, able to do the uh, to see the hyperextension, etc., because the person is in spinal shock. However, when in due course the spinal shock is over, then you see the manifestation of decortication, the Babinski sign. So, simulating the plantar aspect of the sole of the foot, dorsiflexion. Okay. So, if this is the foot, if this is the foot, this is the sole. If you trigger the sole, if you if you stimulate it, a Babinski sign positive person, the toes fan and go up. So in normal people, Babinski sign is negative. However, in patients with upper motor neuron lesion, decortication is a form of upper motor neuron lesion. You have Babinski sign positive. Okay. Uh, quick word in babies. Okay. Babinski sign is positive because in the little fellow, uh, myelination is still happening of the corticospinal tracts and other, other neurons and hence uh, the, the, the normal reflex reaction of the adult is still missing in the baby because things are still happening, things are still being made. Okay, So Babinski's sign uh, in a newly born or a baby or a very young chap is normal. However, beyond a certain age, uh, it's a sign of uh, trouble. Okay, distal muscle weakness because decortication mainly the corticospinal tract has gone. You will have distal muscle weakness, loss of fine movements. I need not explain this. The rigidity, rigidity is of flexion of the upper extremities, extensor hyperactivity in the lower limbs.